Hey guys, it's Brian Air Games here, back with the final episode of Sonic Mania that I'm doing now. I've decided one thing. All my other episodes, I've only done an intro and then it's just gameplay. I've decided with the final that I'm just going to talk during the entire thing. So I'm just going to sit back. It's like a full 10 minutes, 9 minutes, you know, whatever. And I'm just going to sit back and I'm you know, just going to talk, you know? Um, I've had this game for a long time. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've played it a lot. And by the first episode, you can see that when I was, like, going through files and stuff. You, you could see that. And I, I really do like the game as a whole. I, I do think it is, it is the best um, 2D game in a while. Not just 2D, a Sonic game, just a 2D game. I do think it is good. And uh, if that's it's not, it's not your opinion, then you go ahead and uh, challenge me, I dare you. No, but, um, I don't know. I just, I just like it. Now, if you're wondering, um, I'd exited the game. This is actually my second time recording this, so I went through, um, I went into one of my save files, because, you know, I was using a non-save file to play the Ann Knuckles mode and have the, uh, CD peel out. Um, but I exited the game, no, I finished the game, so I couldn't go back to that level, and I don't know how to use the, uh, command to, um, you know, go back into a level like level select. I don't know how to use that. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to open a so just Sonic only save file and uh, go through that. That's why you're going to see me use the drop dash instead of the spin dash. Spin dash sometimes. I don't even remember if I did it. I think I was trying not to do it on purpose, but that's the reason I don't have knuckles. That's the reason. Uh, so this is being, this is the second time I recorded. And you can tell because my score is a bit off and my rings are a bit off from where the last episode uh, left off. and I mean, th that's fine, it's, uh, it's understandable, you know, things go wrong, but, I mean, that's just what it is. And y you can tell I'm, I'm just clearly trying to uh, throw this out till I get to uh, something I can talk to about. But right now I've finished uh, everything. I'm going to the first boss, the non-Supersonic boss, even though I do use Supersonic to complete it. Because, you know, I, I did, I did, I've done the boss so many times that it just gets old. So right about here, yeah, I turn into Supersonic. I just decide to uh, fight the boss um, the Supersonic way. Now, I do purposely try not to hit him, like, as often as I would or as much. So you guys can, you know, see things. Like, see how it goes now. I'm saying you guys, like, a lot of people are going to watch this. But let's be honest, the four at most. Um... No, but I, I did these um, just grinding because I, you know, it was a no-save mode and I don't know how to, like, separate, like, posting and stuff. Now, I may go back and um, delete the entire thing and then post and then, like, save everything and then delete everything and then post the entire, like, playthrough again on um, just a day or so. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I mean... I'll wait a week. If it doesn't do that well within a week, then you know I'll probably do that or something. But um, the final boss without Super Sonic, it has uh, four like these these four arm things. I, I don't really know what they're called. And um, basically, you just hit him a certain amount of times, and it destroys those arms, and then that's the end of the boss. But he also uh, transports you to the hardboard heavies at times, like. The crystal hand that transports to the uh, the ninja's hardboard heaven, which I think that's a uh, samurai star, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he is. But uh, there's no way to defeat him. The hardboard heavies that he transports you to, you can hit him an infinite amount of times, I think. I don't think you uh, have to hit him in a certain time. But uh, we're on the last arm here, and then we're going to be, uh, once he's done, because I remember this is the last time I did this, then we're going to be heading over to the uh, Egg Reverie boss, which is that purple boy thing where you fight um, Heavy King and you fight Eggman's grab reach alarm thing. Um, so right here he's destroyed and he hovers in the middle. Now, if I was playing with a second player like Tails and Knuckles, they would have left the screen and it would just be Sonic and Eggman doing this. So I'm gonna be quiet for this like little in-game cutscene type thing.
So here is the final Supersonic boss. Um, basically, uh, you fight both Eggman and the uh, Heavy King. The uh, Heavy King has these orb power type things around. I don't know. Um, and he, he uh, and he shoots them at you, but he also uses them as a shield. And as Egg and when you fight Eggman, as you're about to see, he has one of his machines that has like I don't know punchers on a hand. Now. If you don't know it, I'm pretty sure you don't know, but I'm, I'm talking for myself because I didn't know this until I was uh, reading stuff online that um, the hardboard heavy uh, king got corrupted by um, the, um, mis no, it's not Mystic, it's uh, something Sapphire, I can't remember, um, or something Ruby, I don't know. Anyway, um, he gets corrupted by that and that's why he uh, and Eggman are fighting. So they're fighting both for the gem with Sonic in the middle. And that's, that's what the entire thing is. Um, and basically, I don't know how many hits, I've never known, but I mean, it, it's a fun boss battle. But there are better ones, I think. And that's, not, not, that's just not listening it to the 2D, that's listening it to like 3D stuff and 2, but comparing to uh, 2D, I think this is one of the uh, better 2D uh, final bosses, or ammo bosses. The Sonic one didn't have one. Sonic 2, uh, it was just the ending that was different, that wasn't real, like, Super Sonic boss. Sonic 3, um, and Knuckles, there was a Super Sonic boss, it was Doomsday Zone now. I don't know how I, because I've never really played Doomsday Zone, because I, I don't have Sonic and Knuckles combined. I have, uh, Sonic M3, and I have Sonic and Knuckles on a, uh, Genesis, like, pack that they, I have on the Xbox 360. But, um... Yeah, so I've never played Sonic 3 enough, so I've never actually played the real Doomsday Zone, but there goes uh, Hard Boiled, uh, Heavy, there goes Heavy King, and there goes Eggman as well. Now there's another in-game cutscene right here, and I'm gonna be quiet for that. And that folks is Sonic Mania. It, uh, yeah. So that folks is Sonic Mania, and, uh, like I said, it's, it's a pretty fun game. I, I like it. Uh, I would have liked more, like, freedom level, like, more new levels and stuff, but for the repurposed levels, I did love, you know, that normal criticism. Oh, uh, I didn't like the, uh, the, um, the, uh, old, old levels being prominent, you know, that, that kind of criticism. I mean, I like it, but... Overall, uh, overall, it's a great game. Now, that ending where he goes through like the purple like vortex or whatever, and he does the same pose that he does in the Sonic Forces trailer. There's theories, and it is confirmed that um, Sonic Mania is a prequel to Sonic Forces. And when I first when I first saw that before they had um, said that that is true, you know, I believed it, and I I was crazy about it because if any of you know me in real life, I and very crazy about it. Like I, I go into so much detail and I just I just don't stop. I ramble completely. I mean that's technically what I'm doing here, but like I was telling like people about it, I was like, they were they didn't care. Like it's a random dude walks up to him and says, Hey did you see Sonic Man? They're not gonna care. But I mean I, I was into that idea. When they did announce it I, I was kinda happy that that's how it ended out. Now, there's not any much more I can really say about this game. I mean, it's a great game, it's fun, I love it. So, plus the time's running out, so I, I guess, I guess that's all I got on this comment. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys.